Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 23 of this video series. In this session, we're going to look at incremental load, which is also called as delta load. Some people may term this as an add load or else optimized data loading as well. It's not about optimized QVD load, it's the optimized data loading. So differentiate these two terms carefully. And in this incremental load, we have three frequently encountered scenarios which are namely add, add and update. The third one is add, update and delete. So just before going to implement incremental load, we must be knowing how load statement will work. For this, please refer to the previous videos. And we must be knowing about exist function. Okay, so let's quickly jump into click view. So this is my uh click view application incremental load p1 so don't worry about this code i'll just just comment this so for the first time whenever we have uh, received the data and we have to load the entire data set into our qvd so this is the first time whenever we are going to create a qvd uh, for this data source. So here I have uh, a data set which has ID and category. So IDs are uh, 1 to 5 and categories are C1 to C5. So there is no QVD is created for the disk for this data. So for the first time I'm creating a QVD. Once I so for that so we have to load the these fields from this and this way statement is not required. Don't get confused. I'm just commenting few lines of code. And save it so we are reading data from this excel sheet and we are creating a qvd into this path with this name okay so if i reload it what it will do is it will create a qvd it's saying table is not found what table is not found source table is not found means we have given a table name for the uh, for the data that is being loaded but we are not utilizing it means so here we are uh, specifying the source as a table name and here we have commented so let's uncomment this and reload so the file lines are being fetched and they have been stored into your qvd okay so let's save it uh, if you want to see so we have created a QVD now. So now our QVD has five records. Okay. Now let's comment this. So now my requirement is I don't want to load five records from next onwards because I have five, first five records in my QVD. Suppose if I have added a new record in this, then only I should be able to fetch it or else I have to ignore it. So for that, what we have to do is, first we need to load QVD data from the QVD. So how we can do that? So now what we are doing is, we are loading ID and we rename it to exist ID and category from the QVD that we have just created. Okay. And then we are also loading data from the Excel sheet means first we are loading the existing data and we are also loading the new data set so if we reload it what will happen it will fetch all the records means five more records and it is going to store those records into this qvd means in total our qvd is going to have 10 records and five of them are repeated ones so what we are going to do so now my goal is if the id is not available so if the QVD ID is not available in this, then only fetch the record from the Excel sheet. So what we will do is, so we will check each and every ID of the Excel sheet with the existing QVD ID field. So if that is not available, then only we'll fetch it. For that, so we will be keeping a where statement here in this. So the, so what uh, the exist exactly will do here. So here our, our table or else our 
source data has ID field and we want to compare this ID field values with the existing QED ID field values. So here what it will do is if this ID is found in existing EX ID means existing uh, QED's ID field value then it will throw true means it will record it will fetch those records which are matching but our case is it has to fetch records which are not matching so that's why we are putting where not exists of so if this id field is not exists in the ex id then only it will fetch the records now let's reload it i'm saving it and then reload what is saying source data and id zero lines fetched why it is saying zero lines we have five same records in this okay so let's edit this so i'll be adding a sixth record here so six and it will be c6 then go to our code and then reload it now you can see id1 line fetched okay if you create a table box and then add all you can see the id6 is fetched okay means it has fetched only one record instead of fetching six records later on we can see how to merge this ex id or uh, and id or else you can just figure out how to fix these things so this is how the incremental load will work so here we are uh, doing incremental load means add adding the new records the first scenario of the incremental load to the existing uh, qvd data instead of reading entire data set from the data source we are reading only the new data uh, i mean new of rows uh, into our qvd this is one scenario based on the id so there is another scenario the scenario is like with dates so in that case suppose let's see here so i have three products and three dates first time whenever i load the data i can load this data as it is because we have to create the qvd for the first time and the second time onwards what we do is so we will be fetching a record if the date is greater than the existing data sets maximum date assume if i add a data here for the fourth jan then only i have to fetch means we have to extract maximum date from the existing qvd using max of date or else a date field and then we'll write a where class in our code stating that so uh, load i mean product and date where date is greater than the max date of existing so then it will works fine so let's see how does it work for the first time as usual what we do is we will uh, so we don't need this so we also don't need this so let's load the table increment incremental load and uh, sheet one which has three values let's finish it up and uh, i'll be storing in the same table so let's reload so the table is name is not found same error so let's give table name to this table so table would be source and reload it so it has first three lines and it has created a qvd as well okay It has created a QED. Now, what we are going to do is so now the incremental load scenario is now I have to fetch a max date from this QED. Okay, so let's open it up. Finish. I need only max date. So, what I do is I'll put max of date as max date okay i don't need this product and then so give it a name max 
date okay and then so what I'm going to do is so we can't refer a field here uh, that much easily to do that there is a better one which is uh, called um, using a peak peak function so uh, for the peak function you may refer to the my previous videos so that you will get to know what uh, peak and previous will do so let's create a variable for using any functions um, in the backend the variable should be of type let so let will evaluate the function and store the value inside the variable okay so let so i'll say p max date equals to peak of so i have to specify a field name here my field name would be max date mm -hmm. and then what it is asking for it is asking a row number the row number will be zero means the first row and uh, it's asking about i mean uh, the third parameter would be the table name from where we are fetching the value and then that's it so finally we have the max date here we are fetching max date uh, record only one record here and then we are putting that record value into a variable using peak so let's check whether we are getting only one record through the load statement or not so for that to break the code execution or else to skip the execution of the next line you can put exit script so that the code until the exit script will be executed right so let's reload it so it's fetching only one line okay so if you want to check the maximum date what we have over there you can place it as equals to date of field name because it's fetching only one record you can put on the function out there and what is the field name we have max date then close it give the format of the data sorry date format so our date format would be cd slash mm slash sorry gd hyphen mm hyphen y y y let's put two y's and then apply are we doing it right way yes we are doing it in a right manner so we are getting 3 1 to the that is the max state so in our data we have third as maximum date so we are getting right maximum date in, from that and then so let's check whether our variable is working fine or not so let's put like this reload it so now instead of the only function the only function will fetch only one value from the field if it is in count i mean it is fetching the resultant of only function is more than one value then it will just simply ignore and display uh, or else it will return the null value right so as the max date field has only one value that's why i used the only function so in this case we max date would be our date so if i apply then it's giving me the same so our v max date variable also having the right value in there so now what we are going to do so i'll be dropping this table because i don't need that table anymore so drop table drop table uh, max date so this table will be dropped right and uh, here we have the source data so so what we'll be doing is we'll be fetching only the records if the date i mean records greater than the date of the existing it suppose so here our date should be greater than the v max date so whenever we are using variables in there we have to be careful about the dollar sign expansion as well as the quotes if the variable is returning any of the string okay so let's reload it so because we have three records out in the existing qvd and it has maximum data as three and our data set is also 
having three records and the max rate is three so ideally it should not fetching any it should not be fetching any records from the uh, source data that is the excel sheet let's click on reload so it's not fetching any records zero lines fetched it means it's not fetching any existing records let's add one more record here it's p4 and 04 zan 2018 and add one more record p5 05 zan so now we have five records and three are the existing records in the qed right and two are the new records if i reload this it should be fetching only two records first reload it so it has first only two records so this is the uh, the second utility of the uh, incremental loads first scenario so thanks for watching the video please subscribe and share the video